I'm gonna show you how I tan my hides. First, you're gonna wanna wash them. I have a raccoon here. So I'm using Dawn soap, and then I'm just gonna rinse them off in some clear water. Yeah, and here's the uh, five squirrels from my other videos. They're nice and dry, so you're just gonna wanna give, give them a little, a little wash. All right, now you have your skins washed and wrung out. So you're gonna wanna get a bucket, fill it up with two gallons of wa uh, lukewarm water, and you're gonna need alum and pickling salt. You can get these at Walmart or any store kinda like that. So you need two ounces of alum, which is one size. This is roughly what this is. You're gonna take that, dump it in the bucket. Then you're gonna take the pickling salt and you're gonna put four ounces, so fill this up twice. Dump that in. And if you're gonna do bigger animals or more animals, you could double the water and double the, um, the amount of alum and pickling salt you put in there. Now stir that up. You want the water to be warm so the uh, alum and pickling salt dissolve in it better. So here I have the squirrels from my other video. They're folded so that the skin side will take up most of the concentrate other than the hair side. And just put that in there. And here's my raccoon. And now that that is in there, you need like a brick or anything just to hold it down under the water because you don't want it to emerge. Just put that in there. So it's gonna look something like that. The skin's down in there and the brick holding it down. Alright, so I've had these skins soaking here for about 72 hours. Now just take them out. Get as much water off of them as you can. You don't want to soak these more than 72 hours because you don't want to risk the hairs falling out. All right, now take your skins and lay them out so that they dry for a couple hours. If you started trying to work the, the skin right now, it wouldn't work because it's too wet, so you want it to dry out for a little while. But you don't want it completely dry or else you're going to start over and have to just tan them over again because they're going to get back to being the way they were before you tanned them. So if you have a raccoon, I'm going to stretch them on this stretcher. and leave them out for about two hours. And then after that, I'll show you guys how to, how to work the, how to work it into leather. All right, I got my raccoon here and he's been drying for about two hours now. Just take a quick look at it up close. When I pull it, you'll see it turning white. That's what we want the whole thing to look like. So one thing that I found that was pretty helpful while doing this is just get a tree, any tree. You can also use a rope, but the tree's a lot better. Ring around like this and just work it. So it breaks all those fibers up and it feels just like leather. And then keep, keep pulling it. You're gonna have to work with this all the way till it's dry if you want it to be perfect. So it does take some time, but it's definitely worth it. All right, I have my squirrels here. They've been drying for like two hours. And I've let them dry a little bit too long, but it's all right. I'm still gonna be able to work with them. So just, just keep working with it till it all turns white. All right, this is a fox that I tanned using the exact same method. 
you take a look on the inside. It's really golden. This is after I actually smoked him too. So golden. It's it's really pliable. It's pretty good. You can see inside the mouth too. So you can do the exact same thing. You just got to play with it for a really long time and don't let it dry out completely. Just keep playing with it. So thank you for watching.